about the power of your subconscious mind. So keep watching. So the subconscious mind controls over 85% of all of our thoughts, beliefs and feelings. So we can be very conscious and aware of things that we're wanting to change in our life but for most of the time, up to 85% of the time, we go on autopilot and our subconscious mind runs the show. So what can we do? Really important, the kind of input that we are giving our minds. So it's not very helpful to be watching TV shows and movies that are not really supporting your growth or evolution if they are more based around drama and negative belief systems then our subconscious mind also picks up on that so something really powerful to do is to put in positive input you will have heard quite a few people speaking about positive affirmations these work in retraining the brain and the mind to think in new positive ways Essentially, we pick up belief systems all the way back from when we're young, all the way back from when we're children. When we're most affected and pick up like sponges, the belief systems around us in society, family, mom, dad, whatever's going on, we pick up the most between the ages of zero and seven. Then that becomes like our main programs. So even though we evolve, those are our, my, our main programming and we continue to repeat these patterns quite often in our life. The thing is that we can change the ones that don't really help us and also put more attention on the belief systems that do help us. Again, we can do this by positive affirmations and by putting in positive input. So the thing is, we don't stop learning in school. We often think that, but in our daily life, we're picking up information. We're learning from the people around us, from our environments, from our jobs. Whatever we're doing, we're taking in information. And so we're able to also take in positive information that's going to help us evolve and grow and start to override with time the past belief systems that no longer serve us. So this is why if you're wanting to evolve into your greatest version or you're wanting to achieve a goal that's really important to you, it's really helpful to connect with people that have already done it. So learning the belief systems, the values, the habits and behaviors of people that inspire you people that you really want to become like, people who are living the experiences that you're wanting to experience. And this is also called modeling in NLP. It's learning the successful habits of people and then starting to incorporate them in our own lives to help us get to where we want to go. And that is a really powerful way of mindfully starting to retrain the subconscious mind to serve you rather than to take you in a direction that's not really helping you. So in a way, just like we will go to the gym or do yoga to work out, tone and make our bodies flexible, it's equally if not more important to strengthen and retrain our minds to be serving us in a way that really helps us rather than sabotaging us and what's important to us. So it's also important to incorporate habits that are positive and going to get us in the direction that we're wanting to go. If we just continue to repeat the same thinking patterns, the same belief systems and the same habits that have not helped us create that change, then we're entering into a predictable future. Whereas we have the power to help our subconscious mind and to incorporate new habits that are going to get us there and to be able to follow those 
and the subconscious mind, once we put that input in there, it then puts those behaviors, those belief systems on autopilot. That's the beauty of it. So then you're moving in that direction without having to consciously always think about it once that habit has been installed as new software. So that is the power of your subconscious mind and how to use it to move forwards in the direction that you're wanting to go in. So if you are interested in learning about one of the most powerful techniques to start reprogramming the subconscious mind in positive ways to serve you, jump over to my website to read about Theta Healing. I've included the link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, you can click subscribe in the bell to receive notifications of future videos. If this was helpful for you, I'd love to hear from you. You can just comment below. And if you would like to keep up to date and have a look behind the scenes of creating these videos and all the other things that I do, head over to my Instagram page and you'll be able to find lots of insights there. Until next time, have a beautiful, beautiful day.